I'm Jenny Williams with Extra Living at EXP Realty, and I'm here with Dr. Hayes today in Chelsea, and you're watching Life Along 280 in Chelsea. Thank you for letting me come and talk to you today, Dr. Hayes. Thanks for having me. Uh, you know, you're my eye doctor and I'm grateful that I got to come and visit not long ago because I woke up with a big bloody eye. <laughs> yeah, those are no fun. <laughs> no, they're not. And you um, have a background in emergency uh, medicine as well as being um, an optometrist, right? Correct. Okay, I did it right. <laughs> So you've got an extensive background. You do so much, I don't even know how you keep a good schedule. It's not easy. Mm -hmm. I stay quite busy between what I do here, what I do for County Commission, what I do for the school with athletics, uh, and a couple of other organizations. I sit on, I think right now I'm on seven boards of directors. Oh so, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, stay pretty busy, but that's just a part of being a part of Chelsea. It's part right. of being in community. Well, and that's super important to you. It is. Is being a part of this community and making sure that you are enriching lives because just the conversations I've had with you in the past, I've got, I picked that up very quickly. Well, thank you. <laughs> How long have you been on um, the city council? Uh, it's actually county commission, and I've been on county commission now for 15 years. Okay. So I was appointed by Governor Riley uh, to finish an unfinished term and elected again three more times since then. Well, that's wonderful. So, so I think you might have an election yeah, coming up, right? Yeah, I'm on the ballot right now. November 3rd, I'm on the ballot along with everything else that seems to be on the ballot to try to keep my position and keep our county commission moving in the same direction. We're pretty copacetic as a county, and we're so blessed to be in Shelby County because counties come from all around, not just Alabama, but other states, to find out how we run things, how we do things, to make that work as well as we do for our parks, for our shopping, for our infrastructure, the things that we do here to make Chelsea a great place to live, Shelby County a great place to live, uh, are, are just wonderful. And I want to keep that up. So I'm running again, trying to keep that position. Well, good. Well, I wish you luck on November 3rd. I think a Thank lot you. of people will be <laughs> voting, right? I hope so. I think a lot of people will be voting. For, yes. Maybe not necessarily just for commission. <laughs> So that's okay. That's right. So, and Shelby County is the absolute best. Yeah, it is. I, I, I love it here so much. You know, I came here from Mississippi, and we said if we're ever going to make a move, that's where we're going, Shelby County, Alabama, and uh, it's our home now, and we absolutely love it. So thank you for being a part of the leadership and making it such a great place to live. Well, I'm glad you're here. <laughs> so tell me about um, how long you've been here. Um, with your clinic? I've been in Chelsea for approaching 30 years. I was in a little 800 square foot trailer for a long time. Uh, was able to buy this piece of property from actually a friend, a patient who came to me and said, I'm moving out of state and I have some property to sell. Would you consider coming in and t just taking over the payments and you can have the property? Well, that's the kind of real estate you want to hear. <laughs> that's right. Very blessed uh, to have that opportunity. So I came here, built this building, created some rental space for other doctors and other healthcare providers and now other businesses of different types. So I was able to not only provide myself a space, but to provide a startup space for other businesses to come get established in Chelsea, many of whom have gone on to have their own location, their own buildings over the years. So I, I, I feel like I, I get to be a, a little bit of a big brother. Well sometimes sure, you to get to mentor. Businesses. Yeah, it's a good thing. And so I've been able to practice here for quite some time. It's been great being in this building now for approaching 25 years, believe it or not. And uh, that's just been a great thing because we can provide so much better service here than I could in an 800 square foot trailer. Well, yeah, I can imagine that. Yeah. Um, and everything has been growing up around you. Sure has. We've watched this growth tremendously and, and we're just excited about the things that are coming to Chelsea too. We have several other small things that are coming. An industrial park is coming. Uh, a couple of new restaurants are on the way. We're negotiating a little bit with a possible hotel or two to get other things coming here. So we're oh. looking at more things. Yes. yes. I, I'm all about growth because it raises everybody's property values and when the economy is doing well, everybody can do well together. Um, mm -hmm. That's why I always say, if I make a lot of money, then everybody's going to make a lot of money around me, right? It helps. <laughs> it helps. So, so um, what do you find that's so special about your clinic? What do you love most about it? The interesting thing is that even though we're on the outskirts of Birmingham and we're really in a part of a, of a suburban area, this is almost a Mayberry of its own. It's a, it's a hometown. My patients 
half of my patients call me Robbie instead of Dr. Hayes or call me Dr. Robbie or Coach Robbie if I've coached them in many of my years of youth ball or working with them on the high school sidelines. Uh, I'm Coach Robbie to all those folks. This is hometown. And so my patients know me as Robbie or Dr. Robbie or Dr. Hayes. But these people in this community, even the surrounding communities that come see me, they look at this like a hometown office. They know that I'm here for them, that their eye health and their vision is primary. It's not about money, even though money is nice. It's great and wonderful that I pay my bills. But it's about taking care of people. And if I do that, I don't have to worry about the money. The rest oh, no. of that works itself out. Yes. Just take good care of people. Treat everybody in this office like their family. Do what I would do for my own family, and everything works out. It is hometown. That's the whole concept. It's hometown eye care. So you have a personal relationship with most of your clients? With almost everybody. We yeah. make sure of that. Uh, and that's the way I hope to always keep it. Well, and that's what makes it so nice when you walk in and do business locally. You don't drive all the way downtown to, to get your, you know, your eye appointments done. And I was terrible about just going to Walmart, so. <laughs> well, and I understand that, and those people at Walmart are my friends. Right. I stopped in to see them yesterday, just check on But I have a home now, here. That's right, that's right. <laughs> so, and Lord knows I need it. Some of the things that, that I've uh, loved that you have had are some advanced technology. Um, we do. Instead of getting um, dilated, uh, you had some other technology that you use and you got to show it to me. So. We do, we do. We have an OptiMap system which can allow me to take retinal photography that is high, high resolution, can see almost every detail of the inside back of the eye and allow me in many cases to do an eye exam without having to dilate but still do a very thorough, very detailed eye exam using the technology that we have. No, really, I thought it really was nice. fascinating. Yeah, it is. I love that because who, I mean, who has time to sit around and <laughs> wait for all that to go it, away? It's a little bit of a hassle. The, another neat thing about that, though, is I have a digital record, this high detailed, high resolution photograph, that if we need to go back in the future and look back and say, hey, what were your eyes doing back in 2020? And I can show the picture uh, of today at that date, whatever that date happens to be, and compare what is thing, what things are changing, what, how's it going for you now? And that tells us a lot more than just dilating and looking and making a note everything was okay. We actually right. have digital information. Well, at, for me personally, I love that because sometimes people think that just because you go into a small town, you know, um, home-based business, um, that you're not going to have the advantages um, uh, as far as technologically advanced programs. So I, I was blown away by that. I really appreciated it um, because I had not seen that in other eye exams. Uh, so thank you. You're welcome. Um, but you've also been able to, through that technology, make some diagnosis. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, the inner eye, the retina, the back of the eye, can show us as many as 300 different medical conditions. Now, they don't always show up if your blood sugar is normal or maybe even a little above normal or maybe controlled under medicine. It may not show up as a problem. That's what we want. We want it to be healthy and normal. But if things aren't just right, we might see that there's diabetic, bi excuse me, diabetic problems happening in the back of the eye or maybe high blood pressure problems happening in the back of the eye or other problems of all types can be shown through the back of the eye, which is one reason they say the eye is a window to the soul. Ooh, that was good. What a good segue that was. <laughs> so, and one last thing about all this, we could talk forever. Yeah. Um, you uh, having that background in emergency medicine um, makes you on call for all kind of accidents. It does, and then that's a wonderful thing. I really enjoy that. Being only four minutes from the office helps. But if somebody calls me and it's 10 o'clock at night or even midnight or after, and they realize that they thought they could make it through the night, that they may have a corneal abrasion from working in the steel fab shop, or maybe their daughter woke up in the middle of the night and scratched them in the cornea, they can call me. And they just call me on my cell phone. It's my emergency line. And they can get me immediately. And if I need to get up and come see them, I come see them. It's just part of the hometown atmosphere tied into the emergency room training that allows me to come in, see those eyes, understand what I'm looking at, and get them treated without having them go all the way downtown to the Eye Foundation, which is a wonderful place, but who wants to have to drive all the way downtown if you can come here and be the only patient here? Right, and why wouldn't you when you could just come here? <laughs> so, last question. Yes. What is the most unusual accident you've treated? Oh, gosh, uh, there's been several. Uh, fish hooks and eyes have, have been one. I, that was probably one. I don't want to get too gory on you, but you had to cut the barb off. Yeah, 
had to cut the barb off the hook before I could remove the hook from the eye mm -hmm. uh, that was stuck into the eye. Mildly, it was not so major. One of the most recent ones that happened, right when COVID started, I had a lady riding in her convertible and an ant flew into her eye, probably got caught up in a breeze, went into the eye, bit down into the eye, and was in the eye, bit down and would not come out. So I actually had to go into the eye, lift the jaws, the mandibles of the ant open to remove it properly from the eye so that it would not hurt the eye as we removed it from the eye. So had to have a pretty steady hand to do that, obviously. You did. But uh, now uh, all of her nieces and nephews call her bug eye. Uh, <laughs> Bless but, uh, her. Yeah, she's stuck with that. She's pretty much stuck with that. So. I love it. I knew you would have um, fascinating stories with everything that you've seen. I mean, you being here for so many years and being so involved in the community, people calling you up. I knew you had to see a lot. So, um, and one of the best things about I never forget your phone number. That's right. Ever. Yeah, six seven eight twenty twenty. <laughs> it's so easy. Can't beat the phone number. So, <laughs> so we had to say that. So um, I guess um, you're going to help me take a look at my eyes today, right? Absolutely. All right, let's do it. Okay. The market is crazy. It's been super hot and we just had an open house on a, uh, one of my listings this past weekend and it was completely packed out. Now it was already under contract, but whenever I make a commitment, I like to make sure to follow through. We had so many families through that house though. So we have to get creative on how we market properties just to make sure that we have a wide reach a wide audience that could be interested in your home. That way you'll get the most and maximize this market for every single penny. We had five offers on that house and I can rest at night knowing that I did the absolute very best for my seller. One of the best things about this time of year though is unique properties come on the market. Right now my friend has a house in Chelsea that's on three acres over 4,000 square feet and it's a beautiful farmhouse. You would love to see it. It's so private and it's got a great floor plan. A really special property. There are so many unique properties available. I have one that's coming on Lake Heather right in the middle of everything in Inverness and it's got a hundred feet on the water, so on the lake. I can't wait to show it to you. Um, we have more and more properties that are coming on the market and now is definitely the time for you to get your little piece of paradise. See x-tra-extraliving.com for the unique properties that are on the market right now and I'll help you get one.